Hi everyone and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. If you'd like to see how I did this DIY painted marble top and flipped these thrifted finds, then please keep watching. So this is the desk I'm starting with. As you can see, it needs a lot of TLC and cleaning up. The top was pretty much destroyed. The person that we got it from on Craigslist said he tried to use steel wool to clean off the top, but obviously it just wrecked it even more. <laughs> So I'm going to have to sand it off, and because I didn't have stain that matched, I'm not going to do that. I thought of doing like the marble effect where you get the contact paper and put it down, but I didn't have that, and I'm trying to use just stuff that I have at home. So I'm going to try and DIY my own marble top or granite top. So first I wanted to sand it off so that the paint has something to stick to, and I'm just doing the top part. But first, I wanted to mention that this video is part of a collab with a bunch of my really good YouTube friends. We decided to do some upcycled thrift store finds. And actually, this was Nicole's idea to begin with from The Week's Nest. We are also joining Leonep from DIY Beauty on Purpose, Kat from According to Cat, and Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. So be sure to check them out after you're done with my video along with the playlist that I will have listed in the description box. So I am just going to finish sanding down the top and it doesn't need to be fully like stripped or anything. Just rough it up for so that the paint has something to stick to. And because I didn't have enough chalk paint for this project, I made my own. I went on to the Lowe's website to get the, um, I guess, the recipe for it. I was told by one of my friends, actually, Julia, from the Mug Life DIY that you can make your own, so that's why I looked into making my own. <laughs> so I just gave the top um, a couple coats, a couple good coats, um, just to make sure that, you know, none of the, the brown showed through. And then for the marble effect, we are taking a gray paint, blue paint. I mixed some white and gray and also mixed another white and gray but did more of the gray in this one. And then you're going to need like a little thin paintbrush, a bigger paintbrush, a grocery bag, and a wet rag. And then you're just going to start drawing like lines that you would see like in a marble countertop. And don't make them super patterned. You don't you don't want it to look like really a pattern. You want it to look kind of organic. And I will link the channel that I got this idea from. She did a fabulous job on hers. She actually did her whole countertop in this faux marble. So as you can see, I'm just kind of placing these little squiggly lines all over the place, just wherever I wanted. And you can see some of that green popped through, but I'm not concerned about it because I'm going to be layering paint on it. And I just <laughs> put my little paint containers in the drawer. So then after you've taken, after you've done those lines, while they're still wet, you're going to take your bigger paintbrush and dip it into the lightest gray mixture that you made and dab it along the lines that you just painted. And then, and then you can do the same with the darker color, just kind of layer it on and then dab it with the grocery bag. And this kind of like spreads it out so that it doesn't look so like in one spot, if you know what I mean. Definitely check out the channel that I got my inspiration from because like I said, she did a fabulous job. And as you can see here, shortly, I am actually going to change the way I do it because it just wasn't working for me. It's definitely something you need to practice with. So I kept doing that over and over, the same method that she said to do, just layering the paints and using your grocery bag. So I decided, because it wasn't working for me, to use my actual countertop as inspiration, and I'm going to make it look more like a granite top than a marble top. So I just took um, the paint brush in one hand and the bag in the other and as I dabbed the paint on the dark gray and the light gray I alternated and just did it all in different spots I just dabbed it with the bag 
until I was happy with the effect that I got. And I wanted it lighter, obviously, than my countertop because I didn't want it to be so, like, in your face. And I got a little bit on the drawers, so I just took a magic eraser and erased it off. <laughs> and this is what it looks like so far. I think it's starting to look better than when I was doing the marble effect, but you can see some of the, like, paint splotches are, like, are obviously paint splotches. So I'm going to go over with the wet rag and dab it and then wipe it down just to kind of um, like feather out the, the paintbrush marks, I guess. So here's where I'm taking the rag and I'm just dabbing it and then I just end up wiping it and then going back over some of those dark gray spots with some of the lighter gray on the paintbrush. And I'm actually ha really happy with how it turned out. My husband was shocked at how real it looked. And then um, you know, you're obviously going to want to seal it with either like a wax or, um, you know, some sealer, but we don't have that on hand right now. So I won't be doing that until we can um, get back to the stores. For this next one, my husband's actually going to help me on this. And it's using gold leaf. And this is something he's done for work before and they actually come in sheets like this and then they store theirs in this like little box because you know once you apply it to whatever you're um, putting it on it kind of look <laughs> gets all flaky and he just wanted to show you how light and like airy this stuff is so I chose a coconut that I wanted the gold leaf on and I'm just using Mod Podge on a sponge and applying it to the coconut so that the gold leaf has something to stick to because we didn't have the stuff that um, you're supposed to use with this. It would have worked a lot better, but we're just kind of improvising again. So he's using the brush that actually comes with it to apply the gold leaf um, flakes. And you just really light handedly, you dab it on and it looks like this until you let it sit for a little bit and then you take some cotton to like buff it off and he said what it was called but I can't remember the the technique that he's using <laughs> um, but this is what you use to just get the little extra pieces off and at first he was using working in like really small sections but then we decided to do bigger sections after this dried and I think it's a really cool effect I like it <laughs> So we did the same thing. I added Mod Podge to um, a bigger section of it, and then he's just dabbing on the gold leaf. And this was actually, like, I really liked watching this. It was a fun process. I had never done it. I never really seen it done except in videos, so it was fun for me to watch. So as that's drying, I'm going to take this little plate that I got from Goodwill. It was only 99 cents. And I liked the rusticness of it, but I wanted the inside to be like a matte black. I thought that would be really pretty on top of the marble um, desk. So I'm just taking some chalkboard paint on a sponge and dabbing it on until I was happy with the coverage. And I wanted the edges to still be metal. I thought that would look kind of pretty. So we ended up using a fan brush just to get the rest of the little flakes off and it worked pretty good. I'm happy with it. I like how it turned out. It's super sparkly and it was just a fun and new technique. This one I got at a th local thrift store. It was half off. I think it was $2.99. So half of, off of that it was like $1.50. And I liked the metal and the chippiness of it, so I'm just actually going to clean it up because I thought it would be really fun to use as my paintbrush holder. And 
I saw um, Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. She added stones to the bottom of her paintbrush holder just so that if they're a little bit wet, um, you know, it can drip in the stones and it's not going to cause any issues. So I'm going to go ahead and use her idea because I thought that was fabulous. And I thought it would look really pretty in this. So this was a super easy thrift store flip and I thought it was kind of cool because it's actually meant to be a candle holder but you know why not get creative. And that's it. Here's the reveal. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you try out this faux granite or marble countertop. I think it is so pretty. This is actually a fun thing to do. So if you get the chance, you should try it out. Try it out on a scrap piece of wood first <laughs> before you use it on like a big area. Cause like I said, it takes a lot of like trial and error. And here's the little metal plate and my gold leaf coconut. I think it's really pretty on top of the desktop. And then I really like my candle holder slash paintbrush holder. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. And if you have any new video ideas, please let me know. I'm trying to come up with new ideas and get creative with my videos. Don't forget to check out awesome ladies that I collabed with. I will have all their channels and the playlist listed in the description box. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!